a quick video I wanted to do while I was uh, just checking the calibration on my thermometers for some upcoming brews. Um, so what I do is every six months I will check the calibration on my thermometers just to ensure that I'm getting the correct temperatures for mashing, um, etc. Because you don't really want to be have your like thermometer out a couple of degrees and be going for a low body and get a medium body or medium body and get in a high body or a full body. Um, so I do this every six months just to check the calibration. Um, so what I've got here is um, I filled it half with ice and then the other half with water. So that's sit about two minutes just for the water temperature to go to about zero degrees. Um, and then all you want to do is insert your thermometer, whichever one you're using, um, let it settle. Once you get a final reading, you just want it to make sure it's between negative one degree and one degree positive. <clears throat> um, so you can have a one degree variance either way, which is acceptable. Um, the other way I usually do it after I do this is then put a pot on the, on the stove and boil it and then just check again that it, it reads 100 degrees or 101 or 99, anywhere between 99 and 101. Um, and then you know that your thermometer is essentially accurate. So um, I have <clears throat> a couple of different types. I've got just a glass spirit level um, thermometer, which obviously is not adjustable. Um, I also have a digital thermometer, just a cheap one with a long probe. So we're checking that one again. I've got to work out how to calibrate it. I don't even know if you can calibrate it, so I guess once this one and this one become unreliable, you just have to get rid of them and get new ones. Um, the other one I have is just a, there you go. The other one I have is this one, which is a just a cheaper thermometer. Obviously it has a long probe on it. But this one is adjustable with this little nut here. You just, um, once you've got it in for your reading, whatever the, it's out by, adjust it, check it again, it should be good, and then obviously you check it again with the, the boiling method. So, <clears throat> just put this one in, it's been about two minutes. Let's give it a bit of a stir, just make sure it's all mixed. And this should read, once it stabilizes, hopefully, zero degrees. Or negative one to positive one, anywhere between there. And we know we'll have a very accurate thermometer. That one's stabilized. Um, as you can see, we've got 0 0.8, which is in, within the, um, the the allowed range, so I'm happy with that. Um, we'll check the glass one. This one actually has a little line um, where you need to insert it to. So again, we'll do the same. Wait for it to stabilize and hopefully it should read between negative one degrees and positive one degree. As I said, it's all these formulas are allowed up to a degree either way of zero. And that one's stabilized. I'm not sure if we could get it up here before it starts to adjust. But it was at um, right on one degree. So it's on its, on its border range. And finally, we'll check this one. Um, this one is the one that is adjustable, so um, if it is out, I can just adjust the nut on the back, because all it does is it essentially just moves this dial inside the housing. Um, and again, after you adjust it, put it back in, double check it, um, so you just adjust it, get it to where you need it, and Bob's your uncle, it's all good. Um, after you've done this, you just want to do the boiling method, which is I just put the pot on the stove, bring it to a boil while it's boiling, and set the probe. 99 to 101 is the allowed range. Anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know how I calibrate my thermometers. Um, so, cheers.